In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 10, Section 3, No Calculator. Still pretty early on in the section, so these questions should not be too difficult. All right, let's take a look at number four. The line in the xy plane above represents the relationship between the height h of x in feet and the base diameter x in feet for cylindrical Doric columns in ancient Greek architecture. How much greater is the height of a Doric column that has a base diameter of 5 feet than the height of a Doric column that has a base diameter of 2 feet? And so we're told we know the base diameter is the x, right? Here's the x. So these, this is the base diameter. And we just want to see how much greater the height is. So the height is on the y. That's the h of x. And we want to compare the difference. Base diameter of 5. So here's 5. I'm going to change colors, make it a little bit easier to see. So we go straight up, and that is 35, versus a height of 2. So here's 2. We go straight up. That is 14. So the difference, 35 minus 14, is 21. The answer is C. Number five, if x is positive, which of the following is equivalent to the given expression? We just take the square root of 9x squared, and you should see that is just 3x. That is it, right? It has to be positive. 3x square root of 9 is 3. Square root of x squared is x, A. All right, let's take a look at number six. Here we have an equation. What are all values of x that satisfy the equation above? This is a concept, if you've watched these videos, I've talked about a lot. It comes up all the time on the SAT. This equation, this numerator, is the difference of perfect squares. x squared minus 1. Perfect square, x squared, perfect square 1, and the difference between them. And whenever you see that, get in the habit of factoring. It's going to be x plus 1 x minus 1. And so if we use this for the numerator, we're just substituting. It's the equivalent form. On the bottom, we have that x minus 1 equals negative 2. But now what we can do is cancel out the x minus 1s. And we just left with x plus 1 equals negative 2. And we just subtract 1 from both sides. We get x equals negative 3. So really be on the lookout for this. So I'll give you some other examples. It, it doesn't always have to be. Um, so straightforward, it could be, let's say, 4x squared minus 64. Still perfect squares, right? And it's going to always be the same term. And the only difference is 1 is plus and 1 is minus. So we have 2x minus 8 in this case, and then 2x plus 8. And so the middle two terms are always going to cancel out. If you multiply this out, you foiled it. You get 4x squared. Then you get plus 16x minus 16x. Those will always cancel out, and then you get minus 64. So be on the lookout, difference of perfect squares. All right, one last question. We're going to do just number 7, because that's the last one on this page. The graph of y equals f of x shown as x, y plane. What's the value of f of 0? And so y equals f of x. All right, so here, f of 0. So remember, every time you see the brackets, this is the x coordinate, f of x, and now we're substituting a zero. So x is left to right, right? It's the on the x-axis. So we're just staying right at zero. So what this means is to find the y, we want to see where the function, where we touch the function. So in this case, if we're going straight up and we're touchy, touching the function at four. So f of x, f of zero, is going to be 4. That's it. So let's say the question asked for, I'll just change the example. Let's say the question said, what is f of negative 6? Remember, this is always the x. We go to the left, negative 6. And in this case, that would be 0 would be the answer, right? And so always left or right touch the function. And so for number 7, the answer is D.